Nighthawk Gold in the news today. Nighthawk Gold trades this NHK and the TSX and MIMZF and the OTCQX in the States. They report multiple high-grade intercepts to Colomac. With me now to break it down, Dr. Michael Byron. Hey, Doc, appreciate the time and update here. Brief one here, only a couple holes to talk about. But why don't you lay them out for investors? For sure, uh, Rob. Thanks. Um, yeah, this is basically... Um... Uh, this is a very short release, obviously, only two holes on the Colmax system, but that's because we had a, a break in our activity. You know, we started up on, on uh, late March with three drills on our on our property in the Northwest Territories, and uh, and uh, then by April 5th we shut it all down due to the, the COVID issues, and it took a you know a few months to get things ironed out and procedures in place. So. Uh, but by that time, we had drilled the, the five holes, so we're reporting two of these, and, and uh, hopefully next week three on the uh, on the the holes from from Letta Arm, another one of our gold project areas. But anyways, um, these holes we're really targeting uh, the exploration target as outlined in our in our um, in our resource. So um, for those that don't understand what that means, um, you have a resource number, but you also get a a, a blue sky number, and uh, that's called their exploration target. And the idea behind that is you have a hole in there, but not enough not enough holes to create um, that critical mass. You need a certain density of holes to move into a resource category. You can't just have one hole, right? So, but that one hole tells you there's mineralization there, and so the exploration target is all about putting a few other hole, a couple other holes in that area, and then you can have enough information to move move that region of your of your uh, resource or of your uh, of your deposit into a resource category and, and it's quite a substantial one they, they determined the authors determined that if we drilled between 50 and 75,000 meters um, into this exploration target area uh, we could add up to a million and a half ounces of gold so uh, you know something not to, to disregard obviously we're, we're focused on that because that's the quickest way to move ounces into the resource so these two holes really uh, tickled that that area and those were our first uh, two into that one at zone 1.5 and the uh, highlight hole was uh, was drilled at the southern zone zone 3.5 and that's a uh, uh, hole c2002 which we got a nice cut of 33.25 meters of 3.89 grams but the inner the sub intervals were quite high grade 9.25 meters of, of 10.93 grams including five and a half meters of 16.63. So it really speaks to the the opportunity at hand if we can get more holes into this exploration target, which, by the way, is our ambition for uh, moving forward as well as going into next year. Of that 50 to 75,000 meters, we, you know, we're confident we'll get around 20,000 of that done uh, this year. So we're well on our way to achieving uh, by next year, uh, making a reality of that you know, one to one and a half million ounces of gold to add to the resource at decent grades. So uh, that's really what this is. I mean, it's not a lot of uh, drill um, drill holes to report this morning, but uh, significant ones uh, because they really do speak to that exploration target opportunity. We mentioned, Doc, a little short on news here because of the COVID hangover, but imagine things are going to pick up here as we close the year and heading into next. Oh yeah, yeah. We've uh, we've got four drills on site. We're active with three right now. We brought a fourth in, and, and uh, uh, a fifth will be on site by uh, mid September. Uh, so we're we're uh, heading into 2021 as a all out drill uh, program on Colmac as well as our many satellite targets. So to that end, we'll we'll be doing expanding the camp and and uh, getting ready for 2021 and take advantage of this raging gold market and. And uh, just leave leave COVID in our rearview mirror as we move forward, right? No, well, certainly hope so, Doc. We'll appreciate that update. Again, Dr. Michael Byron, CEO, Nighthawk Gold, NHK, and the TSX, and MIMZF on the OTCQX in the States. Doc, appreciate that update. Certainly look forward to checking back in when you have some more holes to report. Thank you, Rob.